Hi everyone, it's Dan Fossard again from dansbigidea.com I've got a special message for YouTube You know YouTube? Do you know who they are? Of course you do, it's the third biggest search engine on the planet Probably second, I don't know, there's Google obviously and YouTube is owned by Google so don't actually know how it got to number three in the rankings if Google's number one Maybe Facebook, yeah, Facebook, Google and YouTube There you go, ting But special shout out to my mates YouTube because a couple of days ago some of you know I had my t account terminated right as 400 videos I actually made my 400th video in Miami Florida at this event right 400 videos that I've made taking time out of my own life using my own creative skills you know, my God, there's videos, not just of me talking about this, you know, Empower Network and Big Idea Mastermind. A lot of people have known me before that. I've got videos of me playing, playing the piano. My favorite band in the world is Madness, as you all know. You know, the Nutty Boys, our house in the middle of our street, if you live in America, you don't know who Madness are. That song, that's who it is in London, where I live. They're incredibly popular in, in England in general, they're incredibly popular still 30 years later but I've got loads of videos that I made of me playing their songs on the piano because I play piano. All of them are gone. You know, I've actually got tutorials of me teaching people how to play certain songs. All of them are gone as well. And I've got videos from Cuba. You know when I bought this camera at Gatwick Airport when I flew to Cuba about seven years ago and uh, thanks to YouTube, all those videos are gone. You know, memories, which are still up here, only just. But I mean, you know, it is nice to be able to watch a piece of footage that you made yourself and through on, uh, through on the internet because, you know, that's what, that's what YouTube's for. You know, what is the purpose of having a, a video blogging platform, you know, if you can't actually put videos on there? Because after, you know, I must have had that account for several years, you know, well, bloody hell, six or seven or eight years. And uh, all of a sudden, they've all gone. Every single video that I made is gone. And it's really pissed me off, to be honest, because there's videos on there which are irreplaceable. I mean, yeah, I've been to see loads of bands and concerts, you know, which is all good and well. You know, I filmed, like, close-up close -up concerts of my, my musical heroes. Now, I'm a musician, I'm a drummer and a pianist. And, um, you know, I've been to see my musical idols and I filmed them close up and all that stuff's gone. You know, I've been to concerts, you know, I went to see the specials, you know, the specials, man, my days. I waited 30 years to see them in, them in concert and I went to see them and I filmed them. I filmed the entire concert. Obviously, you know, song by song, not all in one hit. And I put that on YouTube as well and all that's gone. And it's ridiculous because the reason why it happened, one person, one person flagged one of my videos, right? Just one, just one of them. He flagged one of my videos, which was irrelevant to everything else. You know, it didn't have any, any bad content or anything like that. It didn't have anything, you know, malicious or anything like that. It was just my video, just me talking, like I'm talking now. Look, we're, <laughs> I'm in Sainsbury's car park. <laughs> Sainsbury's is like a huge supermarket if you're in the uh, USA, you don't know what Sainsbury's is. But uh, this is where I am. I'm just walking around, you know, just talking. And the thing that's upset me the most about getting my channel shut down, right, it isn't a big idea mastermind and the Empire Network videos, because I've got them on my, on my laptop. Pretty much every video, in fact, every video since Anaheim is on my laptop. Um, what's upset me the most? And I want people to know this. I mean, I've never spoke about this on camera, ever, 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 ever. And I think it's important that people should know. And the person responsible for flagging my one video, for what reason, I have no idea, right? On my YouTube channel, thanks to you, Mr. Flagger, whoever you are, I'm going to find you one day, and I'm going to destroy you, right? I'm going to destroy your online business because I know you're online obviously because we've been doing a bit of digging some friends of mine 
we're doing a bit of digging, right, in the uh, depths of the internet, okay, and we know you, we know who you are, okay, we know how to contact you, we know all about you. Now, you might not think this, but it's true, and what I want to say, the reason it's pissed me off so, so much, right, on my YouTube channel, was hours and hours of footage of my best friend in the world. All right, people that know me know exactly who I'm talking about. My best friend ever in the history of the universe was a guy named Lan Franco. And he played bass in the band that I used to be in. All right? He was a musical genius. An absolute musical genius, you know, he could play any song. He'd mastered the piano, he'd mastered the guitar, he'd mastered the bass. You know, he was ten times a better drummer than I was, and I've been playing 25 years. And he was just incredible. He was a great singer, great producer, great mixer. You know, he just had all the kind of knowledge about music, and recording music, and producing music. And uh, he was just an incredibly, incredibly talented person. And he was my best friend. And next week, yeah it is, it's next week, it's at February the 10th. February the 10th, 2014, is the second anniversary of his passing. And all this footage of him that's online, that's on my YouTube channel, has now been gone. It's now gone forever, right? And I just want the person to know that flagged my video. Because we know who you are. We know who you are. I just want you to know that thanks to you, you know, clicking your mouse on the little flag button because you felt threatened at the fact that I've got lot more content online than you have and I'm doing better at my business than you are and you thought saw that as a you know you're jealous or whatever reason it was saw that as a bit of a threat and you decided that you're gonna do something to get my videos taken offline so thanks to you you know alerting YouTube to my uh, supposedly malicious content which is absolute nonsense because none of my videos are malicious I'm not malicious ever you know, I'm a 40 year old bloke, I've never had a fight in my life, you know, and that's something that I'm really proud of, right? And I want you to know, thanks to you, I've lost all that footage of my best mate. And my best friend, he took his own life, right? He committed suicide, he hung himself, and no one has a clue why. Nobody in, in our circle of friends has got any idea why this happened, because he was so popular, he was such a likeable person, he had the biggest smile you've ever seen in your life the biggest laugh and the biggest heart he would do anything for anyone and he was just so talented to be a, in a band with him was a blessing you know something brought us together i read an advert in the in loot you know the free classified adverts paper in the year 2000 i read an advert saying drummer wanted for this band I listed all these bands like the sex pistols and madness and the clash and the kinks i went that sounds good i'm going to go for that i went for an audition and I, they asked me to join immediately and it, it was at the audition when I met, I met Lan, Lan Franco. Lan, if you have any idea how much, we all love you. You know, at his funeral, 700 people turned up. 700 people came to his funeral. I don't think I know 700 people, ever. I mean, I can't believe, A, I mean, I've never spoken about this ever on film before, because I didn't think that, it, you know, it's a private thing, I didn't think that I should, but thanks to this one person, on, uh, he was watching my video and flagged it, all this footage of you, of Lan, all this footage of my best friend has gone. It's been deleted. And I haven't got a clue how to get it back because I can't, it wasn't even on my laptop where I uploaded it. I uploaded this years ago, you know, eight or nine years ago. And uh, you have no idea how soul destroying it is to realise that I'll never see these videos again of him alive being amazing on a bass guitar in a room in a recording studio in Tottenham, which is where we used to play. We used to rehearse every single week. Every single week we used to rehearse. And all this footage that I filmed, I just thought one day, you know what, I'm going to film our band. I'm going to film it. You never know. You know, I just wanted to record it because I like making videos. And all that footage is gone. All of that footage is gone. Thanks to one person. And one person's decision in YouTube's head office you know, who quite clearly said, oh yeah, let's close down 399 videos that this guy's made because clearly one of them was supposedly offensive, even though it wasn't, clearly, because I'm not offensive. I'm just a person making videos and putting content on the internet. 
and thanks to you, you know, one guy that flagged it, we'll find you, mate. We will find you, trust me. Your, your internet business will be a thing of the past, and I can guarantee you that. And the person at YouTube that decided to cancel my you know, account and terminate my account, have you any idea what you've done? Have you actually got any idea whatsoever? The work that I've put into my business, the fun I've had recording videos and making them, and the content that I've put out, the hours and hours of practice that I've done to play the piano, more importantly than anything else in the world, the footage of my best friend, who's no longer with us. What right did you have to remove those videos from the internet? All these people that know and love Lan Franco, that miss him every second of every day, that this was the only footage of him. Because, you know, I was in a band with him. I was a drummer, he was a bass player. And you know what they say about drummer and bass, man? It's always the tightest unit in the band. So me and him used to rock up to rehearsal like an hour early just to film ourselves jamming. You know, we just used to play. You know, I'd just start playing beats, he'd just put a bass line to it, you know, he'd change the bass line, I'd change the beat. It was just like a subconscious connection that we had. You know, it was unbelievable. And all that footage is gone. All that footage is gone. And it's fucking hurt me. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Actually, I did. It's hurt me. It's hurt me deep down inside. You know, all the BIM stuff and the EN stuff, I can get that again. I can get that again. But the stuff of my best friend, that's irreplaceable. That is irreplaceable. I mean, just thinking about that I'll never see him again, that cuts me up like you'll never know. You know, if anyone's lost a best friend, especially to suicide, I mean, he hung himself, for fuck's sake, he hung himself. I mean, my days, my days, Lan, I love you so much. I miss you every second of every day. You're the best friend I ever had. You know, we used to go swimming, me and Lam, we used to go swimming every single week. We rehearsed every Thursday, went swimming every Friday, you know. And we used to swim, I was swimming like 200 lengths a week. 200 lengths a week with him. He was really good at his fitness. He got me really into my fitness as well. And, you know, granted, since his, uh, since his passing, I've, I've let myself slip. I must admit that, you know, obviously I put on weight and all the rest of it, but all that footage of him is gone. So, whoever you are, that. Uh, took, you know, if you're responsible for deleting my account on YouTube, if you know anybody that works for YouTube, anyone watching this video, if you know anyone who works for YouTube, I'm begging you, I'm begging you to reinstall, reinstate my account, you know, to reactivate it. I'm begging you, seriously, you've got no idea what it's like to know that all this footage of my mate is gone forever. And there's no other way of getting it back. You know, it was on my channel. That was the only place it was. It wasn't on any other channel. It wasn't on Facebook. This is the days before Facebook kicked off big time. You know, it was all MySpace back then. But, um, you know, this footage, the only place it was, was on my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel's URL was youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Dan Sumo 73. That's D A N S U M O 73 in figures, the numbers 73. That was what my YouTube address was. And I want people to pass this video on to YouTube and share it and comment because it ain't fair, it ain't right that all this footage of someone that's no longer with us has been deleted because of one person's decision that doesn't even know me doesn't even know Lan Franco, doesn't know anything about my life or anything that I've done in the past as a musician and a friend and a, a vlogger, a video blogger, you know. I just want that footage back. I just want that footage back. If it's not too much trouble, you know, I mean, for God's sake, if one video offended you, then remove that one video. Though I don't know why that video should offend you. It was a video of me talking about being on a Google Hangout. You know, I mean, my days, how, how inoffensive can you get? I just want the videos back of my mate. So, and I want all my videos back. I want you to reinstate my channel, if there's not too much to ask. You know, that channel's taken me years to make. You know, the amount of money that I've spent, you know, flying to this country and that country. I mean, I've just made loads of videos in Morocco, you know, and Los Angeles and Miami. And, you know, I've got them all on my laptop, but that's going to take bloody years to upload all them again, you know, 400 videos. Got any idea how long it's going to take to upload 400 videos back to YouTube for someone else to bloody flag them and they get taken down again, you know. Just want you to know, 
reinstall, reinstate, reactivate my account. I beg you. I beg you. I really do beg you. You know, I'm not going to get down on my knees, clearly, because I'm in a car park. I get strange looks. But I just want you to know, Mr. YouTube, the guy responsible for that decision, please rethink. Please reconsider. Just please think about what you've done. You know, that video that, you, that was flagged, it wasn't offensive in any shape, way or form, as were none of my other videos. You know, I'm just being me, just being real, I'm just being true and honest about my life, my experiences. My friends, man, that guy, he's up there, and I think about him every single day. And you've deleted all the footage that I ever had. You know, I mean, obviously, I know there's other people who might have footage of him. I had loads. I had, you know, 50 or so videos of him with our band just rehearsing. And now I've got CDs of the band that we recorded, you know, demos and LPs and albums that we put out. I know there's all that, but I mean, this was just raw rehearsal footage of us larking around and pissing about and having a laugh and a giggle and a joke. As we do as boys in a band, you know, it's just a cool thing, you know, the drum and bass, you know, we had a great, great days in that band, man. And I want that footage back. So please, 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 the people in charge of YouTube and the head office, just think about what you've done. Please do the decent thing. Find it within your heart. Find it within you as a human being to realise what, what I'm going through to lose all this footage. And just put it back. Do the right thing and put it back. Alright, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Sorry if I bored you. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to get something off my chest. And, um, yeah, put a comment underneath this film if you want to. And, um, yeah, obviously it's going to be uploaded to my brand new YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Dan Fossard that's my new YouTube channel so hopefully that won't get shut down but you never know you gotta love the haters eh? you've got to love the haters but as I said this person that we know who's done this will find you and will slap you <laughs> we'll slap you about we really will not me personally because I'm not violent as I said I'm 40 years old never had a fight and it's gonna stay that way I don't believe in violence but I think this should be you know you should be uh, dealt with in a way that you know you should feel what I'm feeling, feel the pain that I'm feeling, because I'm feeling it. You've, uh, you've, uh, you've hurt me. You've hurt me real bad. Thanks to you and the person at YouTube. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go. And hopefully, I'm going to keep emailing the people at YouTube. Keep emailing them to get this, uh, this, this channel reinstated. It's important, you know, when someone dies, it's important that you have every memory that you possibly can of them. And uh, this is all the memories that I've got of this footage that was on my channel. Do the right thing, people. Do the right thing. Reinstall my channel. Apart from everything else, there's 400 videos. It had like 250,000 views and like hundreds of subscribers, you know. I just want all those people back. I just want all those people back. You know, my followers, my fans, my online friends, man. Seriously, do whatever you can. And uh, I'll speak to you soon, all right? If you want to, click the link below. That'll be cool. It would. It'll be cool do that and uh, join the party. I'll speak to you soon, alright? See you later.